Hey everybody, I'm in northwestern New Jersey today. Uh, I'm up here visiting some family and some friends and I took the opportunity to go and check out this incredible old train tunnel. It was built in the 1850s and um, I think the last train rolled through in the 1940s, early 1940s. So uh, it's still here. It's amazing. There's even some tracks still left in there. And uh, we're going we're gonna to check this place out. Uh, there's two tunnels. They're both 975 feet long. And there's a curve somewhere in the mountainside so they, you cannot see from one end to the other. So I've been up here before. I've never made it all the way through. So that's what I'm going to try to attempt to do today. Um, there's a lot of cave-ins. There's a ton of water. I don't know how deep it's going to get. Who knows what's, what's in there. But uh, it's probably very interesting in here. So I'm going to try to uh, make it all the way through and then come back. So we're gonna see what we can find in here. So right off the bat, you can see major cave-ins in here all the way along. Uh, time has not been good to this tunnel. I had read some, some interesting information online about how even very early on after its construction, they had problems with cave-ins Look at that brickwork. Is that not incredible? It's 1850s brickwork. All right, there's the uh, other side. I've never been this far through here before. So I'm about a halfway, I guess. Let me show you how dark it is without a light. It's pretty dark. Look at this, look at this huge icicle. Wow. Interestingly enough, you can see here where the brickwork stopped and it just became just regular stone. And there's actually a, a wall here that it kind of peters out and I wonder why they did that. How am I gonna get over here? Oh man. All right, I'm gonna go for it right here, I guess. <clears throat> Oh man, that's deep. Oh yeah, that's deep. All right, now my foot's wet. <laughs> that was probably about two feet of water. I was not expecting that. So, wow, this looks like a cave. I gotta get in here and show you this cave though. This goes, this is a little tunnel that goes to the other side of these tracks. All right, I'm gonna have to brave this. Uh, my feet are already wet, so what, what the heck? This ice is breaking off. Look at that. Yep, that water's cold. <laughs> All right. All right. You can actually hear the ice cracking underneath me. Look at these huge rocks at some point gave way fell from the top here. That one fell from that spot right there. It's fairly warm out today and it's so cold in here that it's creating this incredible fog which just adds to the eeriness. It's perfect for today. Let's 
successfully made it out the other side. I've never been over here before. Incredible looking. Oh, look at this. Wow. All right, so I made it to the other side. Um, I've never been on this side before, but what's interesting is there is a picture that I found online of an old locomotive coming through, and uh, you can line it up perfectly. It's basically right here. Nothing has really changed uh, for the tunnel itself. Obviously, trees and things like that are different, but it's very interesting to see, to line that up and see the difference. Wow, look at these icicles. All by themselves, they're standing upright. They're not connected to anything. They look like ghosts guarding the tunnel entrance. All right, here we go. Tunnel number two. Oh, it's very dry here. Just looks like footprints from, uh, I don't know, animals or something. Doesn't look like humans. It's a shot going further and further into the tunnel. We found the water, ice and water. Oh, this is a lot of water. Jesus. <sighs> All right, look at this massive cave in. Huge area of the ceiling is gone. That space up there is where that huge rock came from. This is the original track. Look at these old railroad ties. So there's two tunnels and um, the one that I'm walking in right now was closed long before the other one, and it was mostly because of these uh, issues with the cave-ins. Uh, they just, there was so much water coming through the ground, coming through the tunnel, that it was eroding away these walls and the ceilings, and they just, they couldn't keep up with it, and it was just too dangerous. All right, so that's the opening. To the other side. So I'm about halfway through. Look at these weird stalagmite type icicles here. Drip down from the ceiling. The water drips down from the ceiling and these are probably huge when when it's a lot colder in here. Like I said it's pretty warm in the last couple days in the 40s or so. So a lot of this has probably melted away. Eventually all this will give way. You can see the uh, original wood protruding out of the out of the walls now. That's pretty interesting. Slowly rotting away, that's for sure. Ugh. 
more massive cave-ins. And I wouldn't want to be in here when one of these happen. All right. The light at the end of the tunnel. We made it out of here. All right, I made it, made it through both train tunnels. I always wanted to do that. But there you go, the 170 year old Mononcachunk train tunnels up here in Northern New Jersey. Pretty amazing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.